hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Unleashes one. A strike downfield. And he breaks into the open. He flips his field in an instant, and he's got him set up at the 20. And they took a shot. I, I like it. Make the big play. Once you start getting closer to the goal line, you start running out of space, Jesse. Now this big play down in the red zone in a scoring position. Yeah, and it was a nice job, too, David, of the quarterback letting the coverage dictate where he threw the football. That wasn't a force. That wasn't a predetermined decision. That time, he was looking at the safeties. He was reading whether it was zone or man. He found his matchup, and here they go. Now they've got the ball down in the red zone. The Red Wolves have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. He's moving out of the pocket. Turns it on to midfield. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush. And you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield. But he sees an opening. And if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Wolverines have it with a first and 10. To throw, it's Orgy. Gets rid of it. Gets it out quickly. At the 20, he's got space. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two. Three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. They've got the screen set up. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Huge play here late, and this crowd is coming to help the defense. Trying to
to show their strength with the run on fourth down. And the Red Wolves get it past the sticks. We are seeing this more and more often in college football with the analytics and everything else. But fourth and inches, they decide to go for it and they pick it up on the ground. You know, I really think it's a smart move, too, because why just give up and hand them the ball and, and give the defense a boost of morale that they really didn't earn? Yeah, and I like the decision, too, based on who their personnel is and what their identity is as an offense. They want to be physical and control the line of scrimmage. It's a good call. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. Throwing right. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdowns. Off to the races to the right. Ten. Touchdown, Red Bulls! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. <laughs> And really nice job seeing the middle of the field, seeing the guy can go deep and attack the middle of the field. And you can tell he runs a post, balls right on him, catches the football, and then gets to gallop right into the end zone for a touchdown. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Liberty is torching the opposition today, lighting up that scoreboard thanks to a dazzling offensive display. They're up by 21 over UTEP. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Continues to fight for yards. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. He misses his man, the accuracy just not what it needed to be on that play. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Loveland. Well, offensively, they knew they were gonna have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one, and all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all up. And he's running in the open. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Michigan! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We've got to figure something out. We've got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyway. And a little pressure, no problem. The extra point ties the game here in the fourth. He'll bring it out. It's Jackson. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Off play action on first down. Throws to the wideout. And it's intercepted. Oh, what a big play in a tie game. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure... Be on the same page. Offense getting set. They'll run play action. Looking to the big tight end. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. 
Looking for a man. It's Orgy. Immediately fires to the middle. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Wolverines have taken it inside the 20. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to buy time. They'll force him out of bounds after a solid kick up on the play. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Going to the running game. The Wolverines get enough for the first down. And the offense is so close to the go-ahead score, they can smell it here in the fourth quarter. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. A very productive play on first down has now set us up with this second and goal. On the ground. Touchdown, Wolverine. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Fielded in the end zone, it's Jackson. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. Comes out throwing on first down. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And with not much doing downfield, he found his parents open in the stands and threw it to him. Like the job by the defense there in coverage, they took every option away from the quarterback. He was outside of the pocket, nowhere to go with it, so they forced the incompletion throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete! Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Bunch formation for these receivers. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And now on second down for this offense. He wants to throw it again. With the catch, it's Wallace. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn up field for the first. On the ground, it's Hawkins. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back with cat-like quickness? Pocket starts to collapse. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Dropping back, it's Rainer. It's complete to the left. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. The Red Wolves come to the line with a new set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting first progression. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Moving away from pressure. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. It's complete. Touchdown, Red Wolves! 
great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. To the air. It's Orgy. Still moving to his... And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. He wants to throw here on second down. Makes the catch. It's Morgan. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Even if they don't confirm, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Escapes the pressure going right. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Wolverines will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt will hit at the one just a little too far for them to be able to down it. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. This one is about finding the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this thing works, though, if they're going to be aggressive, this offensive line has got to be able to hold up here for this team. Yeah, because you need to take shots beyond the sticks so the clock will stop and you can save every second. Uh, and he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. I'm finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, and, and the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Ready, first play of the first possession of OT. Power football with the run. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Still looking on the move. He'll pull it down. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. Fast motion from the offense. Back to throw. It's Orgy. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And his molars are probably rattling after that big hit, but he did get the first down. Here comes first and goal as they try to strike here in overtime. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. He'll do it himself. Touchdown, Michigan! And they're on top here in overtime. That's what makes this quarterback so dangerous. 
throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get... Arkansas State. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. On the a gut check on the doorstep. Third and goal here in overtime. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. Touchdown, Wolverines! They jump on top here in OT. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting. Had so much success today. Got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Grabbed over the middle, it's cross. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're gonna be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. To the air, it's Rayner. Bought a little time, lets it go. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. The offenses should focus on their guys and making sure so-and-so guys get so-and-so touches. And, you know, listen, they're featuring this guy. They're going to throw to him. He's going to be the primary target on a lot of times. I can't be reckless, but I definitely have to find my way to get that guy the ball. Well, a field goal kicker can step away from the net and go sit down, grab some water. They're not, they're not going to need him just quite yet. That was a great play call. Throwing the ball on third and short in field goal range. They get the completion, now setting up first and down. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown instead in second down. What a play by the defender there, guys. In his own end zone. The offense has taken a shot, and if that defender was just one step behind, that would have been a touchdown. But the hit forces the incompletion. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Buying some time. He just tossed that one out of bounds. You avoid the sack, you avoid the turnover. You've got more plays here on third down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Third and goal, desperately trying to get it in and keep hope alive. He just about had the pick and what a play that would have been in overtime, but it brings up fourth down. the gun looking to throw steps away to find some room touchdown arkansas state they got the score now to see if they go for the win or the tie they need this extra point to send it to double overtime and the extra point is good One extra period didn't get it done, and we start the second OT. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete to the right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And on that last play, he's now over 400 yards passing. Well, Reese, if you're going to throw for over 400 bills, you got to spread the praise around. Up front, they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback. If he runs this back, this game's over. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick.
defense has its back against the wall as they try to extend this game and force another overtime. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Unloads it left. And it won't make the connection going for the big play. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. The quarterback would love to have that throw back, but at least he'll brag that he overthrew that dude. <laughs> my, my arm strength is elite. Do you see that? I can overthrow guys that can run like that. Yeah, that's probably not what's, uh, what's coming to mind, but, man, you, you just want to put it out there. Maybe put a little bit more air underneath it. Not a lot more when you've got a guy that fast, but, man. And they pick it off. You can't give it away in overtime. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And, man, just a soul-crushing turnover by this offense here in overtime. It's so tough throwing the ball down in this area of the field, right? The windows are so much smaller, and they open and they close so much quicker. You've got to be so precise with timing and accuracy if you're the quarterback. And that time, it came back to bite him. Just didn't execute well enough. Coming after it. They got it done with the two, and now they hold the edge deep in overtime. Offense will use a timeout here to make sure everyone is on the same page here in overtime. Now they'll have to respond with a two of their own. Back to throw, it's Rayner using the quick game. Clutch play and execution ties the game again and will play another overtime. So here we go again, and we'll see just how deep that two-point conversion bag really is. They got it done. A great play call to give them the lead by two. It's all about mental toughness. That's impressive there to get the two-point play, and now you're putting it on your defense. Can they rise up to the occasion, David? Make a play and end this. Thing? Man, and that's what you're doing. You're trying to get energy from them. You're walking over there, too. Guys, we just need one stop. One stop and we walk out of here a winner. I know you're exhausted. Just give me one more play. They move the tight end all over. The snap sets up the throw. They can't convert. A great stop by the defense and a game-winning one here in overtime. My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one from three. Wait, I don't want to get carried away there. But it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time. Man. Great. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck. And bonus time. You got some free overtime playing that one. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.